Hey kids, Richard from Castle Capes and Clones, and today we'll be unboxing Gambit and Rogue from the Marvel Retro Collection Legends line. So join me on today's episode of Hyperspace Hijinks. All right, so we'll be unboxing two figures from Marvel's uh, X-Men Retro Collection line. Um, these are made to resemble the toys from the 90s, um, which the original company escapes my mind, but it's not Hasbro. But anyway, um, these are six-inch scale, so the Marvel Legends line. So the original figures are like, not exactly three and a quarter. Maybe they were like four inches. I can't remember, but they were smaller than this. And I used to collect those, which right now I don't remember where they are. But hey, anyway. Um, so these two are kind of made up into their 90s look um, at the height of the X-Men animated series. So let's take a look at them, shall we? Let's start with Rogue. So Rogue, if you remember the 90s version of her, uh, is pretty much, you know, her out outfits always had like yellow and green with a leather jacket and the funky 80s hair with the white stripe. Um, looking like she's, looking like she's in a rock video. As you can see there. And the uh, packaging definitely mirrors what it kind of looked like back then. I don't remember if that's the actual artwork, but it's definitely similar. It says here, power absorption, which is technically her power, and then I'm guessing power absorption in different languages. And then on the back, you have a little blurb about her. Now what's cool about this one that wasn't available in the original one, the original one is just the figure itself, she has um, alternate hands here so basically she can recreate her taking off her glove and touching someone because her power is power absorption and that happens through skin to skin contact so there you go so let's go ahead and open now let's take a look at Gambit Gambit is very similar in packaging again this is kind of the 90s look for him I haven't really collected comics uh, and know what's going on with these two since probably the 90s. But uh, this is, I don't know, so I don't know if he looks any different than he does now. But this is the kind of classic look that I think most people associate with Gambit. He too has a jacket, but it's like a longer trench coat. And he always had a funky kind of uniform, if you think about it. It's like black with that pink ish and blue thing going on but anyway his mutant power is he's able to transfer kinetic energy into objects in which he uses playing cards for the most part but technically if he touches something he can transfer kinetic energy into it making it into kind of an energy weapon so that's what's kind of cool about him and he too does have alternate hands so you can kind of um what does he got hold a card with power or they gave him a kind of three cards and a throwing kind of motion so that's kind of cool um but yeah they both harken back to the 90s so let's go ahead and open them up all right so starting with rogue let's open her up i did kind of cut this previously to make it easier But, you know, comes on a typical clamshell. Alright, so here we have her out of the packaging. That's a lot of hair. Looks like typical female uh, Legends line articulation. So, she can go like that. She has that she can move her wrist the jacket is 
not sculpted on, but it's also not very easily removable. The sleeves of the jacket are actually painted onto this to the arms, and the head has some movement, but as you can imagine, this big chunk of hair keeps her from doing much with it. Uh, the headband is partly painted on, but then it's actually kind of loose over here like that. Her belt is a loose belt. Doesn't look like there's a way to take it off, which is good because I'd probably lose it anyway. She doesn't have a waist a swivel, but she has a kind of abdomen swivel, so she can kind of go like that. And then on the legs, she can move. She can twist right there. She has uh, one joint at the knee and then the foot rotation and whatnot. From what I remember, this is pretty much accurate to the 90s version of her. Uh, the original toy, I think it was Toy Biz. I want to say it's Toy Biz. Is it Toy Biz? Let me know in the comments. Um, didn't have much movement, I think. Pretty much just like kind of up and down. I think she'd probably bend her knee, but like this is definitely has more articulation than those figures, so she can look like she's flying and whatnot. What's interesting about Rogue is that her power is actually absorption. So in the 90s, she could fly and she had super power or super strength and whatnot. That's because she absorbed the memories and powers of Ms. Marvel, who uh, now is a big Marvel character. But um, for the longest time, that was what she had, right? Um, but technically, that's not really her power. So at some point, she fought Ms. Marvel and grabbed her, I think, for a longer period of time or something that made Rogue absorb both her memories and her abilities, leaving Carol, who's Ms. Marvel, um, comatose, I believe. I can't remember exactly, or when that got fixed or whatnot. But uh, she, from what I understand now, is able to control her powers. Uh, so what happens is skin to skin contact and she absorbs the memories and abilities whether they are like mutant abilities or whatnot um, usually for a temporary period of time um, and at some point I guess she had a death touch now or bef at some point but now she can actually control her ability so it's not always active she, she, she can choose when to activate it so but let's stick her alternative hands on her all right, so I've changed out her hands. So you can see one hand, she's removed her glove and she has an exposed hand and she's gonna touch you and absorb your powers. Um, in removing the hands, I realized that these wrist thingies actually are loose. So you can move them. But there you go, Rogue, AKA Anna Marie. Last name, I think, has been either Dark Home at some point, which is Mystique's last name. Because uh, Mystique is her foster mother. And then at some point, LeBeau, which is Gambit's last name. Speaking of Gambit, let's take a look at Gambit. Again, I pre cut this so I don't have to rip the package and kind of leave it pristine ish. Gambit, of course, is a Creole. I'm pretty sure it's Creole. Cajun. Never mind, he's Cajun, because he's a Ragin Cajun. Um, which means he hails from New Orleans. Has a kind of very New Orleans Cajun accent, so it's French ish. Um, his power is actually that he can take kinetic energy and transfer it onto inanimate objects. Um, also through skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is why he does wear gloves, but he has exposed skin on his gloves. So that's kind of cool. Um, he also has kind of the typical articulation. Um, his long coat is like kind of soft, pliable plastic. 
Again, his sleeves are actually painted onto the arm, so they're not, it's not a total removable thing, which is kind of a shame, because I kind of like his, like, he's got a very unique kind of outfit, minus the jacket. Um, full head movement, arm, elbows, only has the one joint on the elbow, does have a waist swivel, and then your typical leg articulation. So, if you can see, one of the other characteristics of Gambit is that he has black eyes with like this purpley pink iris. See a little bit there. And he's got that funky hairdo. Overall, pretty cool. Let's take a look at him with his bow staff. Right, so there he is with his bow staff. What's funny about like these weapons that these superheroes carry around is that they're like retractable, so it's like a little stick because he's not going to carry this bow staff around with them. There's nowhere to put it, so they magically made them kind of telescoping, 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 telescoping. You know what I mean? They can extend and then go back into a smaller form. So that's that with this bow staff. Let's take a look at his alternative hands. So here you have him with his fingers extended and a kind of, he's throwing the cards out. Can you see that? So like that. So like whoosh. And he throws them out. That's kind of cool. But then he also has another set. So, so I just realized he comes with two sets of left hands. Or actually three sets of left hands. So this is his throwing card hands. His normal hands. But then he has got this set. Which is this which means you can put this accessory in between his fingers. So there you go. Which is kind of cool. You can see he's got a playing card he keeps with him. He must invest in a lot of playing cards. And then you can see the kind of kinetic energy around it. So that's kind of cool. Might keep them like this. That's pretty cool. So there you go. We have Rogue and Gambit. Two po very popular characters from the 90s X-Men. And hopefully we'll get a closer to the comics version of them when the X-Men come to the Cin Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sometime, hopefully that's what phase five is. I don't know. There you go. Hope you liked the video. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. We do more things like this. Trips to Disneyland. I'm starting to do now that I have my magic key and other fun things. So thank you for watching and catch you on the flip side.